Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Pocket Final Fantasy Tactics Advance for the Game Boy Advance. This will be part 8 of our Let's Play. In the last episode we are in the middle of cleaning out like an antlion nest or some shit. I, I say with, uh, you know, the utmost respect for our job and what we're doing here. But, yeah, we found out that the dogs here, or the, the dog... This goodest boy here hits pretty hard and has counter, which is a bit scurry. Uh, but other than that, this is not a terribly difficult fight. Do you hit me? Oh no, wait, he doesn't have counter. Sorry, he just hits really hard. He hit for like 40 or something, didn't he? I recall it being something really strong. Ooh, not quite. Ah, so these guys don't have Sandstorm yet, which I think is an ability the next level of Antlions get. Which lets them do attack damage from range. Alright, we're just gonna keep beating up on this boy. Wait, I don't remember our rules for this. It was like no shell or something, wasn't it? Hang on, I'll, I'll check. No protect, that's what it was. I, like, I wasn't gonna do that anyway. Okay, we'll throw some thunder out to try and hit a couple of them. Always good to do maximum damage to multiple people. Like, that's the general strategy. Obviously, sometimes you want large single target damage, but... It's not... It's not that it's rare, it's just that, like... There's usually better options. Usually want to spread that damage out, hurt multiple people a lot, and force their white mages to play defensive, basically. And not just beat you up and do all the damage. That was probably a waste. I think you're about to get eaten, little thief. This looks bad. Oh, no, going after Keith because that's a one-hit kill. Ugh, Keith, you got gored. I'm sorry. You got really done in. But that's okay, I can bring him back to life. Yeah, which I'll do right now. Oops. Not from here, though. I can do it from here. Boom. I don't need him to survive, I just need him to be alive long enough to get a massive, you know, double thunder out or whatever. You know, he can die every turn for all I care. But this is why you want enemy white mages playing defensive, for that exact reason. Because I, li I always like to think of life, like using life and reviving people as an offensive move. Which sounds kind of silly, because it's like, why would you... Why would you need to revive people if you're on the offensive? But it's like, it's you do it to keep the pressure on, usually. And heal, I tend to find, is the defensive move. You know, that's when you, like, really hunker down a bunch of people together, get a mass heal off so that you can, you know, not be dead. Okay. Good. Good. You don't deserve this. Come on, Keith. You, you don't deserve to be beaten up like that. Oh, wait, hang on. You've got air render, or I've got air render, I should say. I should just be targeting him from the back like this. Boom. Ooh, not dead. Wow, hold up. Can my little thief boy get the kill? Or my white monk, or good old Nero. Come on, Nero, get that kill. Good job. 16 XP is pretty good. That is strong enough. Uh, okay. Wait, once again, he's probably gonna die, but I can hit two of them from here. Probably worth it. I could've even got a better angle on it from the left or right, probably, if I'd really committed to it. But I think this is okay. And seven damage, it's not bad. Considering how crap he is. 
everyone's gonna attack Keith because A, they want him dead, B, they can they can kill him in one hit. Don't you goblin punch me, bro. Okay, you did. <laughs> you you did. You really did. Shit. Okay, Keith, I don't know if you're getting up again. Uh, actually. Yeah, you kind of are. You are in a horrible purgatory of me constantly bringing you back to life after you get beaten to a pulp. Because at this stage you make a good target. And you're worth valuable XP, so... You're alive as long as I say you're alive, basically. Alright, Nelgul, I assume you're gonna attack Keef. That's... that's a yes. That's a hard yes. Keith, I love you. Not enough, though. Not enough to avoid that. I'm sorry. I should have been better. I, sh I should have been better. Alright, Gilbert, stab him up. Oh, you've got counter. Spicy. Maybe the same damage that I do. Who cares? Ah, old Yogurt. My favourite of the antlions. Okay, not a one-hit kill. Pretty pretty savage, though. If you can get a hit in. Uh, I don't want to kill everyone with the Aussie Nerd. It's the easy option. Because it works, but... Uh, we'll go for the 50-50, so at least I can say I tried. Okay, and succeeded. He's dead. I've never really used the Beastmaster class as the Beastmaster class. Maybe that's something I should try one day. Okay. There's so many bodies here that we can't actually do anything. Now, you're going to try and counter me, and I can't kill you, so we'll just go after this one. Do our little seven damage. Blech. Just a little shiv in the spine with a little stabber. Alright, well, Keith, you know what time it is. Time to wake up, little man. Really need you here to uh, distract those outlines. Appreciate your work. Yep, just gonna stab him. Or chomp him. <laughs> uh, my white mage is just sitting there like, oh my god, Keith, stay alive for five seconds, please. You know, insert the Shrek meme that just like, can't you stay alive for five minutes? I didn't give a shit about the counter there, that was never going to be any kind of actual danger to me. Go for the side hit. A bit better hit chance. Go for it. Nice. And he's looking sad. Ooh, seven health. <laughs> Who do we know that does seven damage? That's right. The one you just attacked. You've made a terrible mistake this day. Wait, do I have you on fighter tech? No, I don't. You're still on item. Hmm. Should change you back to fighter. But for this battle, it won't matter. I'll just have to remember to do it immediately. Come on, seven damage. Yeah! Nice little thief, bro. You didn't level up from it. That's a bit disappointing. Oh, well, we, we got it. Smashed it. Hopefully we mastered some skills. Especially the white mage. I need to master some white mage skills to get them off white majory. You only really need like one. Okay, Keith. Wow, is that it? Keith. Keith mastered Thundara. Keith died every five seconds. Ooh. Free time mage? Yes. It's Bangar we need more of, though, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. Uh, Keith, did I actually buy the other rod for you? Oh, I did. There we go. Uh, Firewheel. Can you change to better job yet? 
Nope. Fair enough. I think most of the human mage jobs require white mage and black mage. Ah, phew, you've moved. Jesus, I was, I was worried there for just one second. Ah, uh, right, those are both paladin weapons we don't need. That's a warrior weapon, which we don't have one. We will grab an Esther. We're gonna get a fencer soon. And what do we got for jobs? Ooh, Chocobo help. Uh, any race. Sure. We've got a little crap boy. Someone that likes Chocobos. Yep. Thompson, the Beastmaster. Naturally, he loves it. Could have called that one. Girl in love. Eh, we don't have white thread. And we need combat five, which we don't have either. Uh... Oh, this one. I remember this being a crap battle. I feel like this is on the Giza Plains. Could be wrong about that, though. Don't you? Thank you. Yep, it is on the Giza Plains. Okay, I recall Raven being really hard. Yeah, there's like two guys here, and Raven is just a brutal combatant. No charm. That's absolutely fine. But we are going to have to bring some strong people. We didn't really have any charm anyway, so... The hell did that matter? Yeah, because what are your things? I know you can definitely counter... Right? Yeah. Oh yeah, Monkey Grip lets you use a two-handed weapon in one hand, I believe is the thing. So that's why he's using the Diamond Sword, which is traditionally a two-handed weapon. Yeah, Monkey Grip lets you use it in one hand, so you can use a shield as well. Which is pretty bad. Bad for us. Uh, you know Chivalry, which... Uh, how do you do it? You go like this, right? Nurse, drop weapon, Saint Cross, and Holy Blade. Both of those are not too bad. Drop weapon kind of sucks. Don't think it uses it that much. Then what did you do? You're just like a good mage, right? You have like return. Do you have re return magic? Yeah, so you can't shoot them with... You can't shoot them with your own magic. He just bounces it back. Which kind of sucks. And you have Acid and Matra Magic, which Matra Magic swaps the... Is that the one that swaps your Wasi Bars? Sorry, I've done that twice now. Yeah, switches HP and MP. Yeah. Okay. So this might be a job for most of our hard hitters, except we're going to take... Oh, we can only take four. Shit, because I really... Okay, we're going to lose you. Okay. We're going to lose... Mont... Uh, we can't lose Mont Blanc, though. But actually, Gilbert's not that great, because he's going to get attacked back. So I think we take you on Martha. Because what I really want to do is get a disable. Or well, not a disable, a, a cripple or whatever. So it's going to be the only way to keep Raven away from us. So if I go here and go for the legs. 50-50 shot. He'll probably start Saints crossing us, right? I think that'll be the alternative, will be to just Saints cross our ass. Now, I brought him because he can steal shields, correct? Ah. Come on, hit me with a Saints cross. I know you want to. No. Is Saints cross a minimum range thing? I thought it was spell range. I could be wrong. Okay, but you're going to come closer to me. 
And actually, wait, why didn't he just uh, heal himself? Hmm, now I'm confused. Also, little mage boy, you're... I'm gonna enjoy killing you. Now, I can't hit you with... My thing. Can I hit you a sheep count? Does not trigger return magic because it's not technically magic. It's an anima stability. Bummer. That would have made that first hit really, really easy to score. You probably don't have a shield. Do you have an accessory? I didn't. I don't remember checking. No. In that case, we just stab. Stab for 15 is pretty good. If uh, Raven can't come and save their friend with Parlay, we can just really beat up this dude. Now, I could take this hit. But I think we might use a combo. Might use a combo for the guaranteed hit and spend one of our judge points. I'm pretty sure it'll be alright. Yeah, the guaranteed hit's pretty worthwhile. Oh crap, he can move again. Why would you do that? I haven't even... It's an AI bug, if ever I've seen one. He must have, like, a one-turn countdown on not using Nurse. Because he should have used that before, obviously. Oh, God. If they kill the Aussie nerd here, that's it. Ah, yes, that's right. He's wearing a Thunder Robe, so he can electrocute himself. That's the trick, right? He should have done that in... <clears throat> he should have done that in the group with me. Like, he absolutely should have done that. There's no reason for him not to. Uh, I want to try and put him to sleep just to guarantee the kill. Ah, got him that time. Cool. Now, if I go here... What's my odds of sealing this shield? 90%? Good. I'll have it. Thank you. I'll be taking this. Now, I would disable, but I feel like I should go for the blind. Blind is a better, does a better job of taking them out of commission. Okay, and then we are gonna go here. Make sure he's dead. Nighty night. And then we just have to pray the blind holds. Or if not, he's going to nurse himself. And we can try and blind him every single turn. One or the other. Yeah, see, 28%. Did hit us, but statistically unlikely. And in fact, we might even just keep going for the debuffs and disables. Usually I go for heavy damage builds. Um, but I'm trying something different this time for some disables. Nice, okay, so he's asleep. Uh, I want to use a high potion on me. God, it would be amazing to have steel armor and steel weapon at this point, too. Uh, like, we made a pretty good move with steel shield. Because I think the opal shield you don't get for quite a while. I'm just going to boost myself. I don't want to wake him up yet. I ideally, I want to wake him up with, like, my character. I think he's probably going to wake up this turn or next turn anyway. But yeah, I want to wake him up with my character. Do I get attacked out of this? No, I don't get countered here because of his sleeping. Yes, I do. Shouldn't. Okay, he's still blind, so he either nurses or attacks me. He's going to attack me for the 28 again. Wow, two in a row. Okay, well, 
pretty brutal. Uh, how hurt does he get by this? 10. It's probably not even worth it. Uh, no. It is. Even if I sleep him, I'm just gonna shoot him with the bow immediately. Because I boosted, so no real point keeping him asleep. I'll bet you level up. Okay, same thing. You are going to go here, and you are going to not steal. Oh, what's an elixir? HP, MP to max. I don't think we need that just yet. We'll stick to the high potion. He only does like 30-something damage. High potion heals exactly 50, so... Long as we, as long as he doesn't suddenly do more than 50 damage, we can keep this going. Right, so a booster probably gonna do like 20 damage. Yeah, it's a strong boy. It's a very strong boy. Right, we'll just go here and do an air render. He's probably not gonna be blind this turn. I don't remember if blind's permanent, I suspect it is not. I think he's gonna wake up from his blindness this turn. He's gonna get his eyesight back. Maybe not. He's going for the kill. He might get it. Oof. Good dodge, Willy. You're doing me proud, son. Alright, we'll just keep chucking the thunder at him. It doesn't do much, but... He's only on 40 health now, so damage is damage. Just need to hit him with everything we got. Taking that shield off him really worked well. Counter. Yeah, nice try. Hitting from the front with blindness is... hard. That is... Brutally difficult. Wow, eight. Boink. <laughs> I'm not even convinced that arrow didn't just bounce off. But no, we've got this handled. With the debuffs we've got and sort of the heavy control that we can drop here, we are pretty much free and easy on this battle. And yeah, I'll kill him with the air render. Bonk. That was actually pretty clean. Like, everything worked the way we wanted. We came in, we stole his shield, made him weaker. You know, kept him blind so he couldn't hurt us. Killed his friend while he was blind and asleep and couldn't move and all that stuff. So he, you know, really targeted, targeted their weaknesses and picked them apart. That's what we like. I must rush, my long must sheep count. Block arrows, okay. Come on, combat up. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Alright, and we need Bangar. Oh. Didn't even get one. Okay, so we learnt Rush, which is good. Uh, we've already got Air Render. Uh, now, Beatdown, I believe, is the one that is very strong. Now, you learnt Sheep Count. Do you have any abilities? No. You want sheep count, which is good. Uh, catnip, which I believe is a charm. Like yet again, citation needed. It's berserk. That's right. Okay. And then Martha, you learnt block arrows, but that's just tied to your headgear, so that sort of doesn't matter. So that's A-OK. -okay. If we're gonna get a fight here, which we didn't, that would've been fine. Easy. Got the ice shield, that's what we need. Still don't have combat 5, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, no, we don't need you, I'm afraid. Sorry, Rooster. We just don't need you. Yep, so both of those we don't have the items for. Well, we don't have the skill slash item for. Uh, of course, block me, you 
butthole. Go away. You should have disappeared by now. Thank you. I need to go back to the Elute Sands. Alright, let's do this Desert Peril thing. We'll do this next main mission. Should hopefully give us the combat level we need. What are our laws? Ugh, no fight. Although it's just a successful attack, so for our main character that doesn't matter. Uh, Gilbert, it will be bad. Lucas knows Air Render, which is fine, but we'll bring Anton. Uh, no. Willie, no. Bertha will be our dedicated white mate. Uh, actually, no, we'll bring the other one. Natalia. Uh, Keith, definitely. And actually, with this in mind, I think we have to bring Lucas. We need someone that can kind of hold their own. Like, he knows Air Render, so... None of those characters actually need to fight. They can all use either magic or, like, Air Render or whatever. Which is what I will do. Especially this guy up here, because I don't believe he can get down. Oh, and he knows Whirlwind too, which is effectively an attack, but doesn't count as an attack action. Making it very potent. Yeah, so you can't get down, right? No, you can't. Ah, I can just pick you off from down here. Don't know if Red Dog is badder than, than Blue Dog. Now, Blizzard is the... It's definitely not lightning, is it fire? No, it must be water. Right. Right, I think water is the counter to the lightning ones. Which we don't have any water spells, because we don't have a bishop. Or a sage. So we'll just have to go with literally any kind of magic. We'll do the job. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Bunch up. Oh, you did bunch up. You bunch up in a bad way. Okay, I'm gonna use. Yes, and what was Blitz? High hit rate, low damage. Ah, it's that one. Oh, wait, hold up. No. Because the physical attack, right, and physical attacks have massive penalties. I wonder if Blitz isn't off, though. No, it's still gonna do one damage. Rush? Well, actually, I guess it's maybe one. Like, it could do two. Which I guess is what I'm gonna hope for here. I'm gonna hope for that 50% up. No, didn't get it. That's a shame. He's almost certainly his turn next. He's gonna heal. Oh, no, okay, maybe after the ant line. God, they're all bunching up, ready for black magic. Oi! Can you not? Don't... Mm. And he blinded me. You bastard. Oh, not, not Thunder. Thunder's always the one I pick first, just out of force of habit, so... <laughs> that's... No, that, that would not work. That would only heal. Nice! That flan didn't even get a turn. That's what I like to see. And now if we just go here... Now we can throw like a thunder out. Oh yeah, we are just gonna chunk away at this with all the black mages. Like, I don't often make a themed party. I tend to just sort of pick the best of everything. But maybe... Uh, maybe this time we do... Not like a theme theme, if you know what I mean. 
Like, there's a themed party, and then there's... Picking all the same classes on. Get what I'm saying? Like, maybe we do a super mage party, so all the people are mages. Or so they use some sort of magic. Or we do a fighter-based party where, like, everyone is some sort of fighter. Could be interesting. Normally, I just pick and choose. I get what I call the best units. Which, admittedly, most times includes a gadgeteer, which are very hit or miss. Like, very hit or miss. They are literally a 50-50 coin flip as to whether their buff affects all of your units or all of the enemy's units. You really need a decent squad to use them effectively because you have to be ready for either eventuality. You have to be ready for the failure and ready for the success. Uh, sir, could you not? Okay, you did. That's just great. Can I get a bit of thunder in here? No, I can't. Well, maybe. Actually, I think I can. If I go here, then I can get the thunder here. Hey, yeah, 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 now we're talking. That's a possible kill, and a bad wound for the other one. Nice. He's not horribly wounded. We're getting our main boys leveled up. The first six you get always end up being quite strong. I mean, A, two of those are your main character and Mont Blanc. Two, two like, named characters. So that's a thing, but also normally your uh, first warrior ends up being pretty good. Oh, sorry, your first soldier ends up being pretty good. And your monk and your white mage, pretty strong too. Well, what the hell do I do with you? Guess I could just, like, Ben, does that stop immobilize and disable? No, I need eye drops, which I don't have. So I guess we just go for this 40% chance. Shot in the dark. Didn't get it. Go figure. You gonna blind someone else? Nope, she's gonna hit me again. Fair enough. I hate it. You know, I can respect it, but I hate it. Come closer to me. Come on, run close. Yeah, there we go. Good boy. I do want to get rid of the doggo, though. Doggo is the scary boy. The ant lion, he's just a bit of a pain in the ass. Okay, he needs three damage to kill. Free judge point. Count it. I thank you. <laughs> well, you didn't die. So there's that. Alright, 50-50. Get your revenge, Keith. Ooh, that... That does not feel good. That's okay, look. I... I can fix you. Well, I can't fix you. I can... I can slow down your inevitable death. The other white mage is the evil one that revives you all the time. Like, I'm the good white mage. I live purely for healing. Upkeep, you are so dead. Oh, are they going to go for the white mage? Oh, they're not going to do anything. Oh, they can't fight. Right. And the AI says they can't use, um, like, poison claw every turn. Otherwise, they would never do normal attacks. So that's right. I forgot that you can't fight. That's why they're constantly walking up behind me and just stopping. What are you doing? Would you just come down and kill me, bruh? I really want you to come and kill me. Bzz. That's good damage. It's his turn next though, right? No, no, it's my turn next. <laughs> Go for the revenge hit again with the air render. Forty percent chance. I like to roll those dice. Go. 
Oh wow, it actually worked. I never thought I'd get this far. Never thought I would get this far at all. Meanwhile... Can we keep hurting you? Sure can. If you're not actually going to come down and fight, this is going to be an easy-ass battle. Oh, I can't wait till I get, like, flintlocks and stuff as well. I don't think you get cannoneers in this one, though. I thought that was a... Is cannoneer a... Tactics Advance 2 class? It's like the Banga ver Bangar version of a flintlock. I don't actually remember. I hope it's this one, because they can be busted as. Yeah, ow. God, he's made it so easy to just get behind him. It's a big fireball. Nice. Alright, we will air render him from this side as well. This guy is just taking an orbital bombardment of hell. It's okay. It's, it's all over now. We can't hurt him anymore. Boom, and that's how you win a combat where you can't, quote, fight. Isn't that nifty? Isn't that nifty? Alright, come on, fight level or combat level 5. Oh. Sure. Mad monsters, blah blah blah. The crystal theory. Uh. Right, because that is actually a thing. Yeah, because the crystals, I think, are the key to, like, the main plot of this game. Come on, combat five. Crap. Uh, Ule River. Okay, well, you know, we put a river. Well, okay, we have the plains, then we have the pass, and then I think we have the river. Uh, actually, no, it doesn't really... You wouldn't put a river next to a, a desert. That doesn't make much sense. Maybe it's here. That kind of works. Alright, we'll dock back into town, and nothing will spawn. Excellent. We'll do some treasure hunts, just to get these out of the way. Nice magic ring. Good stuff. You arsehole. Doesn't matter, because I'm about to go left. Red boots, they're pretty good. Yep. I don't care what you do up there. What do we got? Ice and ice shield. Another one. Cool. Alright. Well, we are going to leave this episode here. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends who might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback of videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.